kids walking around, eight, honestly, eight, nine, ten year old kids with guns on their belts, spinning pistols around. Um, I, I saw one kid, must have been about 14 years old, he had a belt just filled with grenades. Just chilling. I think he was just buying bread. Hi, I'm Toby. Hi, I'm Chris. And today we're doing a short video about group travel. Why bother? <laughs> so we're going to talk to you about um, what's included in a trip, why you should go on a group trip or why you shouldn't, and um, we're going to compare the two. So we're going to compare adding up all the costs of going on your own and booking everything on your own and the cost of a group tour. Um, so you'll get a better idea of whether it's for you and um, whether you want to book. Great. Okay. So. Firstly, have you ever been on a group tour? I have. I have done both travelling on my own independently and yeah. I've done group tours. So have the experience yeah. of both. And I enjoyed both, to be fair. Okay. We'll go through the pros and cons of those. I've had uh, experience of both too. So we can look at those. Actually, Toby's got a good story we can go to later in Guatemala yeah. where he wished he was on a group tour. Yes, I definitely do wish I was on a group tour. Uh, but they let you out, so <laughs> we'll come back to that. Yeah. So I think the big, the big kind of question is why, why do most people book things on their own? Is a group tour more expensive than doing it on my own? Is that's a big one, isn't it? Do you think? Yeah, I think so. Um, wh when people want to want to go away, they're conscious with their money. Everybody is. Yeah. Um, so you want to know that the the tour you're going to go on, the holiday you're going to go on is the cheapest you can get it for, yep. but to still have the best experience you can. Definitely, yeah. Um, so a lot of the time, I mean, we all do it, we all like to compare, um, and I obviously do it myself when I'm going away. Um, sure. But what you get in a, in a group tour is the whole package. So yeah. we've done all the groundwork for you, essentially. So we've added up the costs of the guide, the hotels, the yep. transport in between the trips, yep. all the extras you get on the tour, like yep. the museums or the excursions you might do, we've added up all of those costs into one round figure and say, this is what you'll pay, so that when you go on your tour, you don't have to worry about all of that. Yep. It's all taken care of, all you need is money for additional meals yep. or additional activities if you want to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Souvenirs. And souvenirs, of course, yep. souvenirs. The thing is, I suppose, if you're looking at a group trip, versus solo travel. If you're a solo traveller, so you can book your flights, that's fine, you can book your own transfers, you can book your hotels, um, but then when you start to get into trying to work out, okay, my transport in between places, that's that's a bit more tricky. How much is my food going to cost? A little bit more tricky. Um, but the big one I always think is, on a group tour you've got a, you've got a guide, which is A, it's someone who sorts out all the logistics for you, B, it's help on hand, permanently um, and see you're probably going to have experiences which you wouldn't have otherwise had if you were traveling on your own so sometimes a group trip may seem more expensive but actually I think once you scratch beneath the surface often if not always I think it's I personally think it's great value Oh yeah, you're not wasting a second of your holiday. No. I mean, we all work very hard to go away, so when you go away, you want to optimise it. You want to make sure yeah. that every minute is, is spent enjoying yourself and yeah. not having to worry. So, I mean, from my experiences travelling on my own, there were times where I would spend hours searching for how to get a bus from here yeah. to here and then how much it should be, am I getting ripped off? And there was even times where I'd... You'd, you just wouldn't be able to get somewhere because you yeah. missed the bus and then I've spent nights in in a bus stop or a yeah. train station just sleeping on the ground. So Yeah, and I, I remember that as well, that experience of that paranoia really to some degree of have I been ripped off here, I don't know. Because I didn't have any local expertise or any help with me. And with hindsight, <coughs> probably should have done. Um, um so in Guatemala, let's go back to that story. So in Guatemala uh, Sherpa Toby uh, spent some time in the slammer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I wasn't on a group tour. I wish I had been. I yeah. wish I had the yeah. the knowledge and, and expertise of a local guide to get me out of it. But yeah, essentially, I was in um, uh, San Pedro uh, de la Laguna, um, which is um, a big lake in Guatemala. Beautiful place, and um, I was. 
I was in my swimming shorts, I'd been to um, they have like natural hot tubs there which are incredible and I was walking back through the town in nothing but my swimming shorts so I didn't have my passport or anything on me and there was a police raid on the town so the police raided right, the, so. this tiny town and they got everyone against the, the walls, padded down um, we didn't have our passports on us so yeah. they pushed us in the back of a van and took us to the, the police station um, Everybody in the police station, so there's about 30 of us there, they had friends or group leaders who would say, okay, well, this is so-and-so, let me get you their passport. We didn't have that. Yeah. We were on our own. Yeah. And uh, when we said, we have our passports, we can go get them for you, they said, well, no we chance. don't have them now. Yeah. So unfortunately, um, we spent the night in jail and they yeah. not only because we didn't have any passports, they accused of us of this, that and the other, which we didn't do. And I um, actually got taken to court the next day in Guatemala. And um, I was sentenced to 40 days in jail. Yeah. But you didn't serve, let's be clear. I you didn't got out. Serve. Yeah, my friends who I was traveling with spoke Spanish fluently, which was a bonus. Yeah, um, which so, a guide would do. Which a guide would do. So yeah. he spoke to the judge, explained the situation, and we managed to get out on bail which was 300 pounds each yeah. for doing nothing. But, and that's, I mean, that, I think that's an extreme case yeah. of where things go wrong. Luckily you were fine, friends fine, and you know, you're, you're around, you're not in the slammer somewhere. Yeah. But it's an extreme case of these unexpected things which can happen when you travel and you don't know when you're gonna need help. Yeah. And I suppose in this particular case, it's very fortuitous that your, your kind of traveling buddy had fluent Spanish. Oh, um, yeah. If that hadn't been the case, then, um, well, if you'd been on a group tour, what, what do you think would have happened? Yeah, so on, on a group tour, it would have been easy. The, I, I might have still been taken to the police station for not having my passport, mm. but the group leader will be a local person yeah. who lives locally, speaks the language fluently, and also yeah. speaks English fluently. So he or she would just be able to say to the police, who's this person, here's his passport, and just, just that would have been yeah. that. And that's an exceptional case. I mean, yeah. this is an exception, but it does highlight the usefulness of having local help and a guide if, if, you, if, you, if you can. And that's a huge advantage of yeah. a group tour. Would you go back to Guatemala? Yeah, well, I stayed for three weeks after that. Ah, see. So, uh, yeah, I stayed for three weeks. Um, yeah. uh, got to meet loads of the local people. Yeah. Um, a few of the local people um, helped me out actually while I was in there. So, they were coming and bringing me food and water Great. And, and stuff like that. So they, all wanted to make sure I still enjoyed the place afterwards. That's lovely, yeah. actually, that's really nice. Yeah, so uh, travelling on your own, obviously you get that solitude, you get that mm. time away, uh, you're able to switch off, it's a lot of people's fantasies to be honest with you. I got bored. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well I did! I mean, sometimes it's alright, but when I was away for six weeks, six weeks travelling on my own, so it's not a massive trip or anything, but solitude is good sometimes, but I, got, I just got bored. So I, well, I found myself hunting down people to meet. Yeah, I think that's the thing, yeah. A, a lot of the time when, when I would meet people, it'd be, we were literally hungry for human interaction. Yeah. We wanted to share things with people as well. That's one of the things I learned from, um, like I went to Iquazu Falls in yep. um, Brazil and Argentina. Yeah. And I went there on my own and it was incredible, but I had no one to share it with. I yeah. had no one to say, yeah. wow, look at that. Or, and then you show people pictures, but it's not quite the same. Yeah. It's, it's, Meeting someone who you went with yeah. and saying, "Do you remember that time? We had a we had a great experience." But this is the this is the big difference with the group tour, though, right? Because there are people right there yeah. um, with you who are, you know, like-minded, also looking to enjoy the experience and to share the experience, and you get that social aspect. So yeah. go out for drinks together. Yeah, and, and a lot of the, the people you'll find will be solo travellers. I think sixty-five percent of our um, yeah. of our customers are solo travellers. So yeah. I mean, more often than not, you, you'll be on a group of other people who have gone yeah. on their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the other thing we should mention about group travel is that it's not just for solo travellers. It's great for solo. If you're a solo traveller, it's a fantastic way to meet people and have a great time and share experiences. But also, if you're like a couple or some friends, um, I also think it's a great way to travel. Oh yeah, definitely. Because you get time you get time alone. It's not like you're all together herded around. There's loads of free time here and there. But you get to socialise with other people along the way. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I yeah, I love that. I mean I, I mm. I've been on a few tours with, with a friend or or my girlfriend and yeah. but it's nice to 
be able to meet those people and find out where they're from and, and why they've gone on this adventure. Yeah. And, yeah, it's sometimes quite nice to, like if you go traveling with just um, your friend, you might want an afternoon away from them and yeah. meet other people and that sort yeah. of thing. So. I, um, I agree completely. One of the things I didn't like with solo travel, which I'm sure some people do like, I never liked it, was eating, eating alone in the evening. And with the, the group, of course, you've got you've got like a whole table full of people, which is always more fun, I think. Anyway, just me. Yeah, and if you don't want to talk or you want to just keep yourself to yourself, you can do that. You can do. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, let's sum up the pros of group travel. What do you think the pros are? Yeah, so the, the pros would be everything is, is already sorted out for you. So you, yeah. book a, you book a group travel, you're not going to spend hours looking for buses, trains, yeah. places to eat. All of that's included in the cost, so you don't have to worry about how much this should cost, how much that should cost. It's already done for you. Yep. Um, I think get your guide. Get your guide with the, Huge. the local knowledge. Yep. Um, it's just lovely to be uh, somewhere where you have that security, yeah. something with local knowledge. So. so you get the so you get loads included, you get guides, which I think is just the, the best thing in the world. Um, you get loads of free time as well. This is the other great thing about these tours, so loads of free time too, and you make the most of your time off. Cons of group travel, what do you think? You're, there are other people, so if you want to be alone all the time, group travel's not for you. Yeah, although um, you can um, pay a single supplement if you want to have yeah, your own room. So, that's true. Yeah, if, if you want the security of a group, but you don't necessarily want to socialise every second of every day, yep. you'll have, most of the time, you'll have half the day free time where you can yeah. wander and explore on your own. And also, if you want to, you can have your own room. Yep. So you can have that time, downtime. Yeah. Yep. Um, and also, I think the big, the big one, just on price again, if you are comparing, like, a making your own solo travel trip versus group travel. The group travel on paper looks a bit more expensive. Just be careful about comparing like for like because in the group travel you've got the guide which adds, it might be a few pounds more expensive but it adds so much in terms of value. Oh yeah and, and just extra things you don't think about like if you want to go on holiday to, to do the Inca Trail yeah. you, you might not Expect to pay the permits and, yeah, and yeah, things yeah. like that, and then the tra the transfers from yeah. airport to the yeah. hotel. Yeah. So it all adds up. Yeah. So in short, small group tours, great value. Don't miss out. That's it from us. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please subscribe um, on the button below. Uh, if you have any comments or any questions, please make comments on the video, or you can get in touch with us directly. Uh, hello, hello at the adventure people. Hello, hello. <laughs> That's right, <laughs> or uh, visit us on the website, adventurepeople.com, and we will see you on the next video. Bye.